Welcome back to the Drivers Hub, and today we are in Thane, Mumbai, and we are here to cover something really special. So, if you've been on social media in the car space in India, you probably must have heard of this account called Bad Boy Drifts or Bad Boy Mudit, and that's him right over there in his Mercedes C-Class, and he's basically, I think, so the record holder for the longest drift ever done in India. I think so, 24 minutes or something like that, and basically he started his own drift training school and that's what we're here to attend now unfortunately we're not going to be doing drifting or anything or, or anything like that but we're going to be covering the whole event showing you some really cool drift cars that are here which is not a very common sight in india and yeah we're just here to enjoy the vibe so let's check it out Let me just give you a quick rundown as to what all stuff is over here. There are some really cool cars. So first of all, you have this Mercedes AMG E63. Uh, it's from The Weekend Talk, which is a group over here in Bombay. Then... Then you have one of the drift cars over here. You have this Mercedes C-Class compressor, 1.8 litre supercharged manual if I'm not wrong. Uh, one of the easiest and one of the most affordable ways to get into the drifting scene. You get these cars super cheap, especially if you're in Delhi because, well, because of the 15-year NGT ban rule, you can get these things for dirt cheap basically. Convert them into a drift monster and yeah, you'll have some awesome time with this car. Move over here. You have this 4-door E46, not too sure what engine it's running but yeah, looks super cool, again drift ready. Uh, you have an M4 over there, F82 M4, I'll just quickly show it to you, it has some really cool carbon fibre parts. Oh, let's not miss that, that is a E46 LS swapped car and yeah, it's a monster, I think so, you have to see this. So you have another W203 Mercedes C-Class 1.8 supercharged move ahead over here and probably the last car over here that can probably drift which is a Lancer Evo. I'm not sure if it's a convert or an original but yeah absolutely sick and probably my future car a VRS230 right down over there behind the Mini. So cars over here are looking epic. I'm probably going to get a chance to drive the LS swapped E46 not too sure. Yeah. The scene over here is absolutely amazing. I mean, this is an amazing setup. They have a tire guy over here, you know, like doing all of the alignment, balancing, putting air. You have a skid pad right over there. You have this little, you have this little course over here where you can actually, you know, like do drifts in a back-to-back -back drifts. And yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm not that well versed in the world of drifting, but super excited to see what's happening because this is a really, really cool scene. we went to talk with Sahil Khanna who gave us a small brief on what bad boy drifts actually is and on the cars being used by them for drifting. Bad boy drifts started, was started by Mudit. Okay. So all the cars here that are built 
are done by Mujit. So we've literally built these cars under these tents back home. Okay. But the idea is to get a garage. You're already working on it. It's okay. in, in like it's going to be there soon. Hmm. But again, the idea with these cars were like that when you charge drifting, they sound like it's a very expensive sport. Right. Right. But nowadays, the good thing about it is, or bad thing about it is, the 15-year rule that has come up. Correct. Yeah. So people are disposing of these cars at a very good price. Good price. Yeah. And uh, I'm saying to use them on the track, the mm. perfect to use them on the track. Right. The international models you get parts all over the world. Mm. Uh, easy builds, cheap builds. Not cheap exactly, but yeah. you can start drifting at a very low cost. So if you buy a car, you will literally start drifting in say twenty thousand rupees. Right. If you really want to. Okay. And then it's an upward scale from there. But otherwise, I think it's. And is part. this one of the first events that you guys are doing as like a training school? Ah uh, yes. Okay. So this is the first event where we're doing it as a training school. We've done one event back home in Delhi. Okay. And we are looking to do more events across India. Okay. So at least people should come and treat this kind of driving as a sport. Correct. Yeah. And not only an entertainment or a you know a show stopper kind mm -hmm. of thing. Correct. It's a proper sport. Sport. Yeah. Like Formula D yeah. outside. So the idea is to make it like a sport where people can come and drive their cars. Hmm. And you know, test the cars out. Correct. And which one of the C classes was like the 24 minute one that did? Right here. This one. Yeah. Sick. This one right here. Sick, sick. And these come with 1.8 supercharged yes. engines, right? W203 is I think around 164 bhp stock. Okay. The 204s are I think 193 stock. Okay. They weigh about the same. It's I think 100 kg is heavier. Okay. But then again, we put fiber hold, fiber bolted for like. Weight mm -hmm. reduction. Right. Strip the car out completely from inside. So, I think they're good toys to start mm -hmm. off with. Yeah, yeah. Then you can go and carry on to the shoe. Sick. All right. Thank you so much. and the seat is just getting better and better and I've got this band over here which means that I'm getting a taxi ride in one of these cars now I'm not sure which one exactly but yeah excited for that uh, hopefully in the next time these guys come down I'll probably take some les uh, lessons from them because this just looks like too much fun uh, so yeah I'm gonna probably go in the next couple of minutes and yep I'm gonna be shooting that whole experience now
absolutely epic. Thank you so much, bro. Sorry, I had to wait so long. Are no problem. Yep. After I was done with my round in the C class, we got a chance to get a ride in the LS3 swapped E46 and we decided to let Dhawal go as he always wanted to ride in it and well he was over the moon when he got to know that he was going to get a ride shotgun inside it. The drifting sport in India is something which is not highly recognized. People view it as a very expensive sport and usually shy away from it. But our friends at Bad Boy Drifts are taking the charge and showing everyone that you don't need to be spending huge ludicrous amounts of money. This event hosted by Bad Boy Drifts is a great example to bring drifting to the public so that everyone can learn in a safe environment and also have a good time with some fellow enthusiasts. We hope to see many more events like these happen in the future and see the sport grow more and more in the country. A huge shout out to Bad Boy Drifts and Bad Boy Mudit for letting us have this experience. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe and share. Follow us on Instagram. Make sure you follow Bad Boy Drifts on Instagram and I will see you in the next one.